Hello everyone, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Nestor Diecast review here today. This is Jack Speck here once again. And this is review number 9 of the year of 2021. Here I got three cars from Circle B Diecast I've ordered throughout the week. And I got uh, two Nestor Xfinity Series Diecasts and one of the Cup cars. Uh, the Jimmy Johnson Ally White Paint Scheme, the Rally car that Jimmy Johnson was trying to get into the playoffs with. And uh, let's get these cars out of the boxes let's get these cars reviewed. So here is the first car in this review here today. This is the 2020 Brett Moffat FR8 Auction Chevrolet Camaro here. And uh, Brett Moffat ran this car uh, on the road courses as I could show you that. There it is right there with the American Death of All logo right next to the FR8 Auctions logo right next to it. So that was that right there. So Brett Moffat ran this car on a road course this past year. Uh, Brett Moffat drove for our motorsports uh, this past year uh, on a part-time basis, not for full-time, since this year he's running for full-time, both Extended Series and Truck Series, our motorsports for the Extended Series, Nice Motorsports for the Truck Series. Um, let's continue on here. This is the front end of the diecast. Now we're going to go and uh, show you guys the front of the diecast under the Camaro nose with FR8 on the hood and the Xfinity logo on the on the uh, windshield banner there for the Xfinity series and there is the uh, left side of the die cast here with the American flag going up uh, up inside up pretty much up the side of the car there uh, the red and white stripes as you go up the side of it and the uh, the the white stars and the blue a little bit toward the bottom half of the car uh, on the side. And here is the roof right here with our motorsports and no two on the roof. And here is the Declan in the back. Moffat's name on the back windshield banner back there. The back windshield. There is the back. And here is the right side of the die cast here. Same side as left, except the Fernie American Nothing All logo right there, as I just showed you earlier. So that is it for the Brett Moffat die cast. If you guys are uh Looking for Brett Moffat's NASCAR Xfinity Series die cast. Uh, there is this car and as well as the Playboy Sales car coming out soon. Uh, if you guys basically want to get both Brett Moffat Xfinity Series die cast, I totally recommend you guys to get that as soon as you possibly can. But I'm going to go on to the next car now in this review that, uh, of the 2020 Michael Nett uh, Dale Hart Jr. Oreo throwback paint skin that Michael Nett ran at Darlington. So here is the next car in this review here today. This is the 2020 Michael Nett Oreo Throwback Chevrolet Camaro. Uh, this car is throwing it back to Dale Hart Jr.'s 2002 Daytona car from the uh, old Xfinity Series known at the time, Bush Grand National Series, or just uh, like the people like to say, Bush Series. Uh, this is a very, very nice die cast. Uh, the only one sponsor really I was looking forward to see on this die cast or else this car when I saw it come out uh, was Ritz, uh, but it never came out to be that way. But nevertheless, it's still a nice die cast. So let's go over it uh, as it is. And here is the front of the die cast for the Camaro nose. Here is that uh, with along with Oreo on the hood and Xfinity and Annette on the windshield banner there. Here is the left side of the die cast here. This car is mainly a blue car, uh, but has some really nice detail to it with the milk on the bottom of the, uh, on the sides and Oreo on the left side of the, of the car and the die cast. And here is the roof. Then here is the Declan in the back right here uh, in the Declan. And there is a Nets name on the, uh, on the back windshield banner back there. Here is the back of the of the of the car, the die cast, and here is the right side of the die cast here. And on this right side, uh, as you see on the name rail, it has Dale Hart Jr.'s name on there. But most of this car has pretty much the same stuff on the left side of the car, but it has a Nets name on the left side of the car, which is really nice. But uh, if you guys are looking for this die cast, I totally recommend you guys to get this. Uh, it is also in the Authentics as well. So if you guys want to get the, in the Authentics at Targets and Walmart, I totally recommend you guys to get this car at your local Walmarts and Targets if you can get this car. But if not, um, try to find it somehow in some way for a good price on eBay. Uh, but I bought this uh, at, from Circle B Diecast's website. 
Um, I signed up basically for uh, diecast websites now, and I'm not necessarily buying anything from eBay anymore because the prices have really jumped up big time. Uh, but I have to deal with shipping, but it's okay because I can really pay it off really just fine. But uh, there is that right there for Michael. And then on to the last car of the review. This is, uh, next car is the Jimmy Johnson Ally White car known as the Rally car that Jimmy Johnson was trying to get into the playoffs with. So on to the last car. So here is the last car in this review here today. This is the 2020 Jimmy Johnson Ally White Chevrolet Camaro known as the Rally car that Jimmy Johnson was trying to get uh into the playoffs with this car unfortunately and ended off to be an unfortunate end jimmy johnson uh he ran this car at daytona and unfortunately wrecked uh which meant that he was not gonna be able to get in the playoffs which kept them from getting in the playoffs as well matthew benedetto got in and william byron as well uh, with william byron's clutch win so here is the front of the die cast here this car is just mostly jimmy johnson's ally car that he ran with in the beginning of the year and 2020 but they just changed it to white but uh, nevertheless this is a very beautiful car to get so here is the front of the die cast the camaro nose and ally on the hood and the cup series windshield better with the two chevrolet logos here is the left side of the die cast here the roof And here is the Declan in the back and Johnson's name on the windshield there, on the back windshield banner. There's the back end once again. And here is the right side of the die cast here, safe side as the left. And if you guys are looking for Jimmy Johnson's ally white paint scheme, uh, I totally recommend you guys to get it. But um, there is coming down, uh, you know, toward down the road soon that Jimmy Johnson's other cards will be made. And, um, and I... Totally recommend you guys to get that as well. I may get the Jimmy Johnson uh, Ally uh, Noah Sweet car that Jimmy Johnson ran at Texas. And I may get the Chrome car that Jimmy Johnson ran at Phoenix in the last race of his NASCAR career. Uh, both of those die casts I may get for Jimmy Johnson. But I totally, totally recommend you guys to get this die cast. They have made this car already in the Authentics version. Uh, if you don't want to pay $7 for a die cast... Uh, I totally recommend you guys to get this in the Authentics as well. Uh, but if you guys want the details just like this, recommend this one as well. So um, both recommendations are good. But that is it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Jack Spicky here uh, reviewing this diecast review here. And, uh, and another note I'd like to add is um, keep on fighting a good fight out there. God's got a plan for all of us. Uh, God is just... Very, very gracious to all of us here. And, um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Signing out. God bless.